Negotiations, Columbus City Schools and teachers and students are back in the classroom. Just last night, the Columbus Education Association voted to accept that contract agreement. About 71% of the teachers union voted in favor of that. Superintendent Talisa Dixon says the new agreement includes reduced class sizes and HVAC improvements. The community wrapped their arms around us during the pandemic and brought resources um, for our students and our families. And now we're seeing our community come together to say, what do we need to do as a community to help resolve some of the financial um, issues with um, funding for building and maintenance? And here's an opportunity. And again, the teacher strike came to an end as a result of that agreement. The board held a special meeting this morning to sign that new agreement. Board President Jennifer Adair has said it will take the community involvement to bring all the improvements to the conditions inside the schools. The board, though, removed that ballot referendum this fall that would have asked taxpayers to approve an improvement levy, saying it wasn't the right time. You'll hear more about this tonight on 10 TV News at 5.